Hey guys, Streaming Rack War Veteran here with a quick video. This is another product that I got off from Wish. It is a multimeter, a cheap one off of there. I think I paid like $12 or something, 10 or 12 bucks. Uh, it's just a manual one. It doesn't have any of your automatic selection stuff. Um, it's the, however you pronounce that, but it's the XL830L. Um, didn't have any battery in it. it takes a 9 volt down here this is just a rubber case that you can actually uh, pull off here if you choose as you can see it's got a little stand if you want so you can sit it like that if you choose to um, like I said the 9 volts down in there it screws in And you can just put it back in the silly little case if you like. It does have the connectors, obviously. It wouldn't be worth a damn if it didn't. Put the red in there and then the black. And that one. Now, the reason I got this is because I have batteries like this here. You know, a couple of these batteries I'll show you. I have batteries like that that uh, I use for some of my laser pointers and uh, you know I didn't have a way to test them when I charged to see if they were holding a good voltage or anything so uh, that's why I got one of these cheap ones I can test my car with it it seems to be pretty accurate and stuff so I'm, ha I'm definitely happy with it let's see if I can do this with one hand I don't know if I really can or can't. There you go. 3.7 volts. That one's not really charged, though. I think this is a 75% charged battery. It also has a backlight if you want to use it, as you can see there. And the other one... Uh, that's negative, so let's flip this around. And this, this one I got off of, uh, or out of these batteries I got out of a um, Walmart thing. And these are 4.2 volt batteries. So the charger that I got does charge these type of batteries. And that's proof of it. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I mean, it works good. It's cheap. It's got a black light. Or backlight, not black light, you idiot. But, I mean... What can you say? It's a cheap multimeter that serves its purpose that I got off a of Wish. I mean, it has all your ranges. It has a hold button if you want to hold the uh, thing. You can do the, I think, this one here is the continuity tester. And it's just you put these two together and tell you you got a circuit. Sorry, my face is itchy. But uh, you just put these two together, and it beeps, you got, you know, a circuit. But it, it does all the normal stuff. I mean, so far it seems to be a really nice little unit if you need one just for, you know, hobby stuff. You know, if it's not going to be anything for, you know, professional. I don't know how well this would be for professional stuff. But, uh... It's fused, I guess. This is a fused side, and that's an unfused. I don't know what the difference is. But as you can see, it's got all the, all the standard ranges. Nothing came with this, so I don't know how to use this thing here, but I don't really care about that. I just got it for testing batteries and then, you know, trying to test car batteries to see if their voltage is good and the alternator. Because you can test alternators with one of these two if you know what you're doing. But alright guys, I'm the Streaming Rack War Veteran, and if you like this video, you can definitely hit a thumbs up if you want. And if you're new to the channel, you can subscribe if you'd like to, it's always appreciated. Just like I appreciate all my subscribers. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.